or sub aspiring developers welcome back to my channel today is the fifth day of our 100 days javascript challenge and if you have been with us from day one up to now i just want to say thank you so much for sticking around today we are solving a fist bus challenge and i'm quite sure you have come across this word anywhere and if you don't i'm here to explain to you everything about what this specific challenge mean so this challenge we are going to write a program that uses console.log to print all the natural numbers from 1 to 100 with exception that for numbers divisible by 3 we are going to print fees instead of that number and for numbers divisible by 5 we are going to print bus instead of that number and when we get along with everything then for numbers which are going to be divisible by both, which means five, three and five at the same time, we are going to print these bars instead of those numbers, especially like 15, 30, and so on. So that is our challenge, and that is what these bars is all about. So I came up with two approaches, and I'm quite sure like when we explore, you will find which one best shoots you or suits your interest of this specific program. So let us start with the first approach. The first thing we are going to do is to loop through a number. Let me say, let's loop through a number to produce for us a natural numbers from one to 100, which we are going to say, let i is equal to one, because we need natural numbers from one to 100. i is less or equal to 100, okay? then i plus plus, okay? With this, now, if we are to console this, we will see here, like we are printing natural numbers from one to 100, you see, up to here to 100, you can see it here. Now, based on our challenge, we need to like see if that number, okay? is divisible by three, okay? Then we are going to print fees instead of that number. Console.log fees instead of that number. And else, if the number is divisible by five, okay? Then we are going to print bus instead of that specific number. Else, if the number does not, okay, that number does not satisfy any of our requirements above, then what we are just going to do is we are just going to console.log that very number, so to speak. Now, okay, let's run it and see. And let me zoom it a little bit so that you will have a good view of what I'm working on here. Okay, that is it. So if we are to see here from beginning, one, two, instead of three, it says fees, four, instead of five, it says bars, instead of six, it says fees. Now you can see how it is working. And now we have already satisfied like all this up to here okay now we have covered the first part of our challenge which is to produce this okay now what we need to deal with is if the number is divisible by three and five at the same time for example like 15 currently now 15 is being satisfied by fees because it is divisible by three but the fifth part of it like it is division by five is completely being ignored due to the condition that is given here so that's why like we need to come here and say if okay if a number is divisible by three let me say three three and a number and that same number is divisible by five okay then instead of just saying fees or something, we are just going to say console.log, console.log, 
is false like that okay that is that now if we run it instead of giving us you see in the place of 15 instead of just giving us fees it is giving us fees but now so which means any number which is divisible by both like 30 is now giving us fees but also at the same time so here just to make the code to look good let's say else here then let's adjust our code like this now our code looks good right yeah and this is the first approach of how we are to solve this challenge and if you ask me why i actually put this code up here instead of writing it down there is because like if the condition has been satisfied like what happened with three here first then it will not execute this code again like it will just ignore this code despite the fact it is condition is not the same with this condition here so that's why it has to be up here because javascript as i illustrated earlier javascript is executing code like other from top to bottom so that is exactly how it works so okay yeah that is actually the first approach to this problem the second approach we just need to remove all of this okay from if here up to down here but we'll leave the rest like this now okay the second approach is we are going to say let output equal to empty string okay then we'll say if that specific number is divisible by three then we will set output we'll set the value of output to fees okay we'll set the value of output to fees and if that number is divisible by five okay then we'll set the value of output to buzz okay like that this boss then here let's just clear our doubt to see what our output is gonna be like so what we are going to print out from here is going to be the output okay the output or the number itself the reason we are actually doing this is because if these two conditions are not met then which means it will not produce this then it will now choose this but if these conditions are met then it will always produce the output so that's why we just put this here and if we are to run it we'll see like you see it is producing everything and i know like you're asking okay how is it producing fees but we didn't actually write it there the thing is this if both condition are satisfied like in case of 15 15 is divisible by 3 and 5 at the same time if that specific number satisfy both the condition then both line of code are executed like it is not ignoring any condition so with that execution it pushes both words like fees and buzz all to the output and that is what output is just giving back to us output is just trying to give back to us exactly what has been pushed based on the execution of the code so to speak yeah and that is actually the two approaches of how to solve fees buzz challenge this is the second approach so to speak sorry i didn't even change it up here yeah this is the second approach and the first approach is the one i saw earlier before and this is the second approach yeah and those are the two easy approaches you can use in order to solve this bus challenge you know if you face it in future you can choose between these two and for me i prefer this one because it is so elegant and easy and at the same time it is fast you know that is maybe what i can say about it it's up to you to choose which one is best for you yeah and this brought us to the end of the day five challenge and as always see you in the next video thanks for watching peace